All right, so day number three was lit. It was the best day so far. We went on a bike tour of Madrid um, with this um, Belgium guy that owns like a bike tour shop. So we all got bicycles. Um, he gave us like gloves, helmets, and um, we just like went around the city on bikes and we saw so many cool things. He took us to this place where you can see like the skyline of Madrid. We went past the Royal Palace, which is like the biggest royal palace in the world. It has 2,800 rooms. Like imagine that, 2,800 rooms. That is insane. Um, and the Spanish, they built that not to live in. They built it just for show. Like, oh, let's, we have a lot of money. Let's just build like the biggest royal palace in the world and not use it. That's, yeah, let's do that. Like, that's really cool. Um, I wish I could do that. And then we went to this park for the royal family. Um, now it's open to the public, but like a long time ago, it was just for the royal family. This park is absolutely massive. Um, we went through it. It was really beautiful. There were so many people like um, out running, rollerblading. Um, we kind of figured out why like the Spanish are so skinny. It's because they, they actually get out and exercise and like go rollerblading and like running and jogging and stuff like that. Um, so the bike tour was really long. It was like uh, probably like three and a half hours, but it was incredible. Um, my butt still hurts from it. It's day number five and my butt still hurts from it. Um, and then after the bike tour ended, we went to um, a bar. Um, this is actually a bar right across on um, the Residencia, so it's pretty convenient. Um, we had some drinks there and then it was time for La Capital, which is the most insane club ever. So this club has siete pisos, so it has seven floors. It is absolutely massive, and each floor has a different um, theme of music. Um, we had some drinks while we were there. It was like 17 euros to get in, and you get two free drinks, so that was like really cool. Um, definitely a good deal. And I don't know, we just like danced and like explored the club and had so, so, so much fun. Like it was like the best night I have ever had. It was like, it was just absolutely incredible. And the Spanish stay out really late. Like I'm talking six in the morning. And yeah, we left the club at 5.30 in the morning. Um, it was the most incredible thing ever. Like it was like so crazy, like staying out that late. But um, the metros don't open until 6 a.m. So we got out, it's 5.30, and we realized we were hungry, so someone was like, pizza, and we were all like, pizza! So we tried to find a pizza place, couldn't find one. Um, and then we went to McDonald's, it was only takeout, and we wanted to sit down. So we ended up going to KFC, and me and my friend Marissa got a big old bucket of uh, chicken, and we ate the entire thing. It was like eight pieces, so we had like four pieces of chicken <laughs> at like uh, 5.30 in the morning. It was absolutely great. Um, and then we went to the metro at 6 a.m. and got back to the room at 6.30, fell asleep at like 7 a.m. and then didn't wake up till like 2 the next day, so. Um, yeah, and after I left La, La Capital, the club, we walked down the street and I literally started crying because I was so happy. Like, I'm just having like the best time ever and all the API kids are like so fantastic and so friendly and even all the Spanish kids are like so great so definitely having a wonderful wonderful time. I really ate shit going into the shower and I have the biggest bruise of my life on my knee.